People relate easily to a swinging pendulum because as children, they have been on a swing in a playground. To make a simple pendulum, thread a bead on a length of string and clamp the string as shown. Use the stopwatch on a smartphone to record time. When the pendulum is swinging freely, record the time for 10 return journeys. Shorten the string and measure the new length. Then, when it is swinging freely, record the time again for 10 return journeys. Dividing the times by 10 gives the value of the period. Compare the period of the longer and shorter pendulums to answer the question. The longer pendulum is the lazy one and the shorter one is always busy. If four jam jars roll down a ramp, will they all get to the bottom at the same time? It might depend on how much sugar they contain. A bag of sugar and four identical jars are needed. Start by filling one jar with sugar. Then share this sugar fairly between the other three jars. Add one third and one third to get two thirds. Now fill one of the empty jars and we're ready to roll. The tilt of the ramp may be adjusted by adding more books. A towel rolled up provides a cushion so the glass won't break. A broom handle may be used to start the race. Small variations in tilt of the ramp gives rise to different photo finishes. Careful observation of the sugar in the jars when they are rolling reveals why the jar with the least sugar makes the slowest progress. The sugar cascades over itself and this acts like the brakes of a bicycle slowing it down. There's no opportunity for cascading in the empty and full jars. The jar that is two thirds full of sugar needs stronger brakes than is offered by the slight cascading of sugar in this jar. When we look in a mirror, we see an image of ourselves. If a second mirror is placed at right angles to the first, there's a lot more to see. The person can now see a second image in the second mirror and a third image in the corner where the two mirrors meet. A fly on the wall will see four people at 90 degrees, one real person and three images. If we rotate one mirror so that they stand at 60 degrees to one another, the person will observe five images of themselves. A fly on the wall will see six people at 60 degrees. Explore what happens at 45 degrees and predict what happens at 30 degrees and then test your prediction. This activity introduces how graphs come about. Plastic cups are used with a doorway cut in each. A marble rolls down a groove and enters the doorway and moves the cup across the table. The distance moved is recorded each time by a dot on a page. Several trials are done with a single cup. Then the marble moves two cups, then three, then four. Each time the same tilt of ramp is used. An average dot is used to represent each group of dots. A pattern develops. We add keywords like distance and number of cups to the page, and the end result is a graph of real data. We can make a simple musical instrument using lollipop sticks, elastic bands and straws. Cut the straws shorter as shown. Stretch a flat elastic band, number 32 is ideal, so that it runs the full length of one lollipop stick. Place one straw under the elastic band near one end and the other straw above the elastic band at the other end. Place the second lollipop stick on top. Wrap two small elastic bands around each end to hold everything in position. Bring the sound sandwich 
near your lips and blow air through it. By moving one straw closer to the other, the length of elastic that is free to vibrate is shortened. A higher pitched sound will be heard as a consequence. Try playing a tune. Join two plastic cups together as shown with sellotape or electrical tape. Join five or six elastic bands together as shown. The elastic serves as the catapult or launcher. Wrap some of the elastic around the middle of the cups. Stretch the rest of the elastic and hold this end firmly between the finger and thumb. When you're ready, release your grip on the cups and watch them fly. Aim higher if you want them to fly for longer. And face into a gentle breeze if you want them to loop to loop. When balls fall, they bounce. However, they usually rise to only a fraction of their original height. Great fun can be had by dropping two balls at the same time if the smaller one sits on top of the bigger one. A tennis ball and basketball work well. Quick reactions are needed if the tennis ball is to be caught before it lands. One option is to focus on hand-eye coordination and having fun with sport. A second option is to mark out four zones and record how many times the ball lands in each zone. Much can be learned about statistics and probability, even without mentioning the words. If you ever need to climb a ladder, it is important that it doesn't slip. Friction between the ladder and the floor reduces the risk of slipping. How can we measure friction? This activity looks at using rulers to measure friction. Place a block on a ramp and tilt the ramp slowly until slipping just occurs. Measure the lengths X and Y as shown and divide Y by X and record your answer. Repeat the process many times and find an average. The two materials with the highest number have the greatest friction and are the most suitable for the purpose. When the weights at each end of the seesaw are the same, it balances easily. If one side carries a weight twice as heavy, it needs to move closer to the centroid. How close? About halfway. How strong is a sheet of paper? It depends on how you use it. Look at the four options shown in the picture. Test the strength of each option with coins.